Sales forecasting can be a complicated task involving large amounts of data, complicated formulas that you use to project the uh, sales into the future, and uh, input from multiple groups. While Dynamics GP provides a place where you can record the forecast, and it will use that forecast uh, in material requirements planning, uh, it, Dynamics GP doesn't provide any tools to help you actually create the forecast. As a result, many people use Microsoft Excel to create the forecast and then manually rekey it into GP. And typing the forecast into GP is a very tedious and time consuming process. Our sales forecast integration provides you with the tools to create a forecast template, generate the forecast outside of GP in Excel, use formulas, collect input from multiple users, and then integrate that all back into the GP forecast. This video will give you an overview of our sales forecast integration tool. We'll, we'll begin by looking at the uh, forecast in Excel, what you can do in Excel, and then we'll switch over to GP and import the forecast. After we look at that importing process a little bit and some of the different options there, we'll circle back to the beginning and look at what's required to create the forecast template. This is an example of what the sales forecast template would look like in Microsoft Excel. At a minimum, it contains the item number, item description, and then date columns for each bucket in the sales forecast. You can create an empty template that contains just the column headers, or you can be begin by exporting an existing forecast out of GP, modifying it in Excel, and then bringing it back in. You can key the forecast manually into the cells in Excel, or you could also have secondary sheets with sales history information and formulas that calculate uh, future usage. As we're showing here, this particular cell is based on a calculation of some of the values in sheet one. The other cells have just been keyed in manually. We'll also add another line to the forecast for 100 XLG. So you can add additional items to your template. The columns cannot be changed. The number of date buckets in the forecast template need to match the sales forecast in GP. So we'll save our sales forecast and then go into GP and look at the process of importing that forecast in. Once we've used Excel to create our forecast and we're, we're ready to bring it back into GP, we start by going into the sales forecasting window. We bring up the forecast that we're working with, and as you can see, this is a blank template. There are no existing items on the forecast, but we do have our forecast buckets. We then go to the sales forecast integration window. The first option is export, and we'll look at that in a moment. That's used to create the forecast template. And then import is used to bring the completed forecast back into GP. There are two options. We can append to an existing forecast or we can overwrite the existing forecast. So you might have a situation where you have an existing forecast in GP, you sent it out to Excel to update it and change it. When you bring it back in, you want to overwrite the existing forecast in GP and use the new one that you created in the sales forecast. In this case, we generated a blank template we created our forecast in that template, and we may have also sent it out to multiple people for them to add their own forecast. So what we'll look at is importing the forecast that we created, and then we'll use that same forecast a second time to see what the effect is of uh, importing multiple versions of a forecast. So you select your forecast template and click process, and it dis displays progress as it's reading through the items. And as you can see here, it brought in the forecast. This 234 
was based on a calculated cell from the spreadsheet. Now if we have multiple copies of the forecast from different users, we'd come out again, select import, we're going to append to the existing forecast, select our forecast spreadsheet, and then import it. And you can see since we're importing the same spreadsheet a second time, it doubled all these quantities. So the next step we'll look at is going back to the beginning of this process where you would actually start. And that is to create a blank template with which to create the forecast. Creating a forecast template requires just a bare minimum of information. You create a plan name, give it a description, and then select the forecast period. Sales forecast integration can work with any of the forecast periods supported by the sales forecasting window. And then you specify the beginning and end dates. Here we're going to forecast for a year. When you're working with large forecast periods, this highlights one of the difficulties of working with the sales forecasting window to create the forecast. In order to see all of the periods, you need to use the scrolling buttons to scroll from one period to the next. And when you have a large number of forecast periods, this can be rather tedious, and there isn't a good way to get an overall picture of your entire forecast. This is, however, all that is needed to create the forecast template in Excel. You could also add items at this point, and you can add information to the forecast buckets. There will be an option during the export where you can choose whether or not you want to include the existing forecast. In this case, we'll put in some quantities just so that we can see the effect of exporting the forecast. So you open the sales forecasting integration window, select export, <clears throat> and here is where you can choose whether or not you're going to include the existing forecast. If you do not include it, then it creates a blank template including only the column headers. Okay, here is our forecast template. As you can see, it includes the column headers, and the date buckets go out for 12 months, 13 months actually. And since we opted to include the existing forecast, it pulls in 128 SD RAM and the three forecast buckets that we populated. This concludes our overview of Willaware's sales forecast integration. Sales Forecast Integration is a tool for integrating a sales forecast created in Microsoft Excel into the Dynamics GP Manufacturing Sales Forecast module. If you would like to learn more about Sales Forecast Integration or any of our other products, please visit us at www.willaware.com or send us an email at sales at willaware.com.